Hi guys and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 4. We are now at Pung Tap, the Tower of the Wind, to go see the Wind Dragon, which is our current quest and stuff that we have to do. So we got the wind flute in the last part and we see a nice little, little windmill. And there's our, we're playing the wind flute, actually, which causes that to lower somehow. Well, however, video game logic, not gonna question it. So this is a little mini dungeon-y area, also side perspective, that's something you don't see very much where it's, uh, where you actually have to walk fully that, you know, sideways. It's normally a canted angle, if you will, but, uh, yeah, dungeon, here we go. Um, I'm not that worried about it, it's, uh, if I recall, this place isn't that bad. Um, the gimmick of this area is a little weird. Um, there are items here, but honestly, I, I'm probably just gonna avoid them because, uh, I don't think there's any here that I really think I need. Well, well, there's one. So I guess I'll go grab that one because I went the wrong direction. And, uh, and- Oh, boy. I've gotten over my fears of giant cockroaches, but you know what, uh, I haven't gotten over my fear of... children. See, um, I went to work today for, like, the first time- Well, actually, first time was yesterday. But, like, my second day of work, basically. And this kid comes up to me, well, okay, l let me explain a bit. We're doing games and stuff. I work at a summer camp thing. We're doing games, and one of the games I thought of would be fun would be to do improv. You know, I loved improv. Kids love Im improv. And, uh, we were doing a scene where I was a ghost, another kid was Captain America, and another one was Batgirl. And all of a sudden, in the middle of the scene, a cat in the audience, a kid in the audience yells, I'm a cat, runs up and, uh, bites me. So, that was... Fun. Uh, yeah. That was my first day of work. Well, second day. I'm lying. I'm sorry. Let's heal because Nina got absolutely destroyed by that cockroach, uh, for somehow the jump attack actually did damage to us, which is surprising because, you know, like I said, this game isn't one where you, where it's about, like, it's not so much about grinding as much as knowing how to fight to... You know, like strategies and stuff, picking your right moves and the situation, and even when it is, like, I'm not sure. We got more cockroaches, they're gonna jump and do mundo damage? See, I think it's a random, that must be like a randomized amount, because the fact that it did so much once, yeah, it must be, because that's weird. Jump isn't normally, doesn't jump normally like ignore defense or something? I'm not sure. Final Fantasy IV is the one that I've actually played the least. I played the the DS version a bit, but that one was stupidly difficult, so I stopped. And I don't like difficult games. I mean, they're nice to a point. It's nice if it's an option. However, if it's if it's the only the only thing, then I'm not not a big fan of it. You know. Uh, let's have that attack, and you can actually go back to the back. And there we go. See strategies, not rushing and stuff. Jump. Well, I guess who's gonna take? Yeah, see, it's weird. It's randomized. Uh, did I? Yes, I did tell him to hit that one, and I guess I should have done it the other way. But that's fine. That's fine. Yes, we're doing this. Jump again. You know, the auto battle system from Final Fantasy IV was a good idea, though. And I mean, this kind of has an auto battle, but it's not like. You can't assign them to do stuff, really. You just sort of, they just attack. And I think the way of having it, like, give them jobs and stuff, that's cool. That, that's a cool strategy. Um, I was playing Tales of Graces for the PS3. And I think that one handles it well. Well, there's just, like, five sliders for each character's AI. And I think that, that, that's a great idea where it's, just like, you know, just do sliders and stuff. Here we go. This is called like Heroes of the Wind or something. Basically, you have to jump when the wind is blowing and you go up. And if not, then you fall. And you wait for it to blow and you go up. See? It's really simple. We got 600 zenny. So, if you wait, then it'll you go you can basically just keep going up. Ouch, that was a bad idea. That was also a bad idea. And blow. There we go. It's all timings and stuff. Oh, darn it. I didn't mean for that. Jump. Up. I'm gonna wait. 
Okay, and... And there we go! And then we wait once more, and then we jump. That brought us all the way down. Whoops, that was not... Uh, that was an accident. Okay, let's go in here, maybe. And... We get... More awesome music and sideways camera angles. This is a cool shot. I love it, because it really shows off, you know, the great sprite work that you can get with the PS1, along with the great, um... Like the, like the 3D levels and stuff. I think that's great. So with this, we can jump up to the next level. Literally, like like the next, not level, but, you know, floor. There we go. Because when you say level in video games, people immediately go like, you know... The word level confuses them because they think level means... Well, in an RPG, it means your your character's level. But in, in like, ga other games, it's like the level you are on. So it has multiple meanings in games, so you can see where it sort of confuses people. Basically, we want to just keep going up. There are other items we can- oh, well, here's an item. Fighting robe. Let's put that on. I wonder who can put that on. I think if it's a robe, then it's for females. But I could be and probably am wrong. Let's see here. Can we- yeah, fighting robe. Light clothes, uh, power- okay, so let's see here. Who needs- uh, let's see. okay, that's, that's, uh-huh. So used to Final Fantasy where you can just click and, you know, it works. Like, go, go left and right. Oh, or I guess we could just hit the best button. That works. Wait, why was homing- Oh, the homing bomb was a weapon! I thought the homing bomb- Oh, the homing bomb's a powerful weapon. I thought it was an item that did- Oh, I didn't mean to go up. Thought it'd be done by now. And wait. There we go. Now we can fall back down because I was stupid and jump the gun. Oh boy, that was, uh, I had to cut out there for a sec because I got a package in the mail. It's my Beowulf shirt from Skullgirls. That's awesome. I'm so happy I got it. It, oh my god, comfiest thing ever. But you're not here to listen about my shirt. You're here to listen about me jumping when I shouldn't have. Again. That's fun. Let's let's jump down now. Wait, maybe we could go higher if we do it one more time. I didn't even think about that. Let's, let's actually try that because I want to know what's one floor higher than the highest that I think. We'll wait for it to go one more time. And if we go up one more, we go to the... Where we're supposed to go. Oh. Okay. I'm cool with that. I guess all those little other rooms are just side routes and stuff, so we can just ignore them for now. Go to where we're actually supposed to be, which is a sky gondola thingy. See that wing gondola over there? We use that to go even higher than we are now. Oh boy. I wouldn't be able to do this. If we do, we should be able to find the Wind Dragon. Well, let's go. I, I guess so. I really hope nothing jumps out and attacks us here. Because, gee, sure, that would be annoying. I'm just going to check my health because... Also, look at that. Look at the landscape down there. Look at that. That's beautiful. I never even noticed that before, but wow. That's really nice looking. Oh, that's far enough. I uh, don't even know what voice that is. <laughs> Did you really think you could escape? Uh, yes. I don't think you fully understand the gravity of the situation, my friends. Get it? Gravity, because cause we're up high and we'd fall. You, Cray, and Nina have greatly inconvenienced the Alliance. However, at the same time... You've also given us something we can use against the Empire. Your friend Ryu there. Or should I say your friend the Yore Dragon? The what now? I'm willing to make you a deal. If you, hand your, if you hand him over to me, we will overlook your transgressions. What do you say? Well, I, I mean, that's, that's not a... Hand him over? Are you crazy? Never. Really? Don't lie to me. What, what do you mean, don't lie? You were planning to hand him over to the Empire yourself once you've met with the Wind Dragon. Am I wrong? 
But, but we're just, he was our... Your what? Your friend? Your companion? Hmph. <laughs> I hate those dudes from before, the skull dudes. If you will not hand him over to me, I shall have to, I will, shall simply have to take him my, well, yeah, you say yourself, but it's not yourself. You're using your little minion lackey dudes. That's not yourself. Don't lie to me, bro. So here we got the grunts A, B, and C. Now, they actually are different enemies in this. A uses status afflicting physical attacks. B uses various magical attacks. And C uses assist magic. So, as we all know, always attack the healer first. Now, uh, don't waste Achi. I was going to say don't waste your MP, but I guess you could really here. Because that doesn't matter much. Because I was going to say don't use the dragon form because it wastes MP. But he has separate MP. Actually, he doesn't have separate MP. Ah, oh, whatever, we can still, we can still whack them with magic, because why not? I don't think any of them are immune to anything, but even if they are, it's good to know on the first turn, but he's using sleep. And Cray went to sleep. Wow. Wow, that actually did some damage. And he's using faint, which woke him up. Oh, but he's not an attack stat, so, or well, it's attack mode, rather. 82. This one should do more. Oh, that does nice damage. I love that. Sadly, Cray didn't do his, his stuff, but that's fine because we can still just do it again. And hopefully this time, he does. Now, this is a two-part battle. You know, kind of spoil that there. But, um, I don't think it's really... Well, the second time you do have it easier. Oh, damn it. Now we can't use can't use our uh, 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 C-Moon. Uh, here's what Cyclone looks like alone if I haven't shown it off because I, if I use magic, I usually use a combo magic, you know. Wow, these guys actually hit pretty hard. And Rock Blast, you guys have probably seen. Looks awesome still. Doesn't make sense that we're using Rock Blast on a, on a thingy though at all, really. You know what, I think at this point it's probably best to just attack with physical attackers because because one of them's already down so that means the other one shouldn't be that far behind unless one of them's just naturally weaker could be and i'm surprised assist magic doesn't mean healing but okay i'm down with that yeah see that one's down and there we go you won a great victory that was easy and urshan leveled up Cray leveled up and we got knockout gas and zenny zenny's good it's always good to have hmm it appears you are stronger than I thought. Oh, great. There's more. But how long can you hold out? Wh Wait. And Skius is back. Skius? Skius? British? <laughs> what? You mean you're breaking our contract? But why? Why would you do such a thing? There's no merit in it for you. Why do you side with them? I... Don't know. I just... I... That's totally not his voice, but I'm making him sound awesome, because this is an awesome scene. Felt like it. I guess. He's such a... He's a cool character for a character with no characterization. Enough of this! Kill them! Kill them all! And we'll do that, I guess. Now, does Skius fight alone for this one, or is this another another one of... Yeah, no, Skius is just over there. So you don't want to use magic on him, I think, because it would it would hurt Skius. See, if I use, like, Cyclone, it would probably hit him. So, let's not do that. Instead, it'd probably be best to actually re use Rejuvenate on Cray. And you can just... Um, com would command work on them? That'd be kind of cool, but it probably won't, you know, even though there are whole lackeys and stuff. Shining Blade, this is why you don't want to hurt him, because Shining Blade is awesome. Holy man. Sleep. Uh, don't work on Ryu, please? Please. Darn it! Worked on both of them. I'm not happy with that. That makes me angry. At least we can still rejuvenate Cray, because that makes our life easier. 
More party members are nice to have. You can use faint on Ryu? Nope. Would have been nice if you used on Ryu, because then we could have just woke up. But no, now we're actually going to have to wait now. And that sucks, buttons. Uh, uh, hmm. Sever is one, so I guess we'll use that. Can use... Let's see here. I think just, just an attack with Urshin. And Cray, do you even have anything? No, you don't. Oh, I wish I had super combo at this point. That's a good magic spell, even though it completely destroys all your MP. Uh, AP, rather. There we go. Yeah, we're go We're still doing good damage. I'm not worried about losing. I'm just worried about this taking a while. Which is kind of this game in a nutshell, sort of, because... The bo like, you won't lose many boss battles, and if you do, then you just have to rethink your strategies, so... Wow, Kray hits hard, I love that. And Sever, and Punch, and Whack. Those are, those are what we're doing right now. Are those eyeballs coming out of its head when it gets hit? Because if it is, that's weird, the fact that they're so deep set in. It's slightly weird. I think if you hit, uh... Skius, then... Like, I don't think you lose him from your party. I just think you don't... I don't know, maybe get an item or something. I'm not exactly sure. That did a lot of damage to us. So I should probably uh, do something. Like, I don't have a group heal thing, but I'll heal... Probably heal Nina, because then Nina can heal others. You can just use double blow, why not? And I guess uh, you can. I don't even know what's gonna happen. You know, Cray, you can probably attack. You'll probably won't die. Hopefully, that'd be nice. And she's good again. Shining blade. It'd be cool if that killed him, but it just did you know normal damage and stuff. Oh, he's guarding. Oh, that's helpful for us. Double blow is really weak. I forgot about that. But there we go, we win still. We routed the enemy. We got lots of experience points, which is nice. 500 zenny and no items. Shucks. Well, that's fine. Well, he ran away. That's cool. I'm so, so, so. It's all right, Skius. After all, it was your job to watch us, right? Besides, you helped us in the end. Thanks. I knew you were alright. Oh, he's blushing. That's cute. We better get out of here before they come back with reinforcements. Alrighty. Let's hop into the sky gondola thingy. Here we go. Hold on tight. This is honestly a truly frightening idea. You know those rides at amusement parks that spin you around like that? Well, imagine if that happened, but then it just broke. I mean, it has a string, yes, but, uh, well, you'll, we'll, we'll see. So, the team goes up into the sky in their bird-shaped thing. And this is actually really beautiful. Just look, look at this, them flying in the sky. That's just so beautiful. PS1 can do gradients really well. The wind dragon is up here somewhere. Oh, it's sky dolphins. And there is the wind dragon. Oh, it looks so cool. I love the idea of like having the sky be a sea and that's like a, a sea serpent. Pyong Rong. Holy man, that is a big dragon though not all of them are this big this one's just giant though and guess what it can talk just give it a second it needs to think about the words my little winged one thou who art named your a dragon we have awaited thy coming we, we want to talk to you about the dragons. Oh, 
Okay, I be- Thou seeketh knowledge. Thou wishest this to know of Ryu's true nature. Yes. Well, uh, yes. I, I guess. Oh, well, hey, it's a little dude. Mayhap this form be fit more fit for thine eyes. So that's like their spirit form where they're not in, like, like that's, I think that's such a cool idea of having, like, a spirit form so that they can communicate easier. Ryu is one of our kind. He may be one of the endless. You mean, he's not an ordinary person? He is a dragon. In thy terms, he is like unto a god. Yet, he is at the same time mortal, at least for now. Ryu is a god? We are we are of the end we of the endless are summoned to this world by mortals. They that summon us have power over us. Tis they who determine who our power shall be used. How? Tis their desires that shape us. The endless be not good, nor be they evil. The endless are. They become gods or devils, according to who desires of those who summon them. I love that as a description. It's like they just are. The Yore Dragon, having been brought to this world only recently, be like, un be like unto a blank slate. He hath neither form nor purpose as of yet. You mean... The Empire was trying to summon Ryu so they could start another war, with the power of a god on their side? We knoweth not the answer to thy, to thy question, little one. However, the Ore Dragon, he whom thy have named Ryu, is incomplete. To become whole, young Ryu, thou must journey to the, pal to the place of summoning. So we already sort of know this with, with the whole faux loose thing, but this is just becoming apparent to them now. In respect, in respect of thy bond, I shall carry thee there. But what does he mean carry? Yeah, he actually means like to, to bring us there. Uh, basically ripping the cord from the, the windmill tower and throwing us there. That sounds fun, right? Oh boy, that that's... These mountains be in the heart of the land. At the base of this crag, thou wilt find a hamlet. They who have passed the spell of evocation from generation to generation. Down through the ages dwelleth therein. Seekest thou that village? That thou be learn of the endless, thou might learn of the endless, and of thy true nature, Ryu. Mighty Pyongrong, please wait. If Ryu is the is is one of they who endure, what must he what should we do? Listen, O child of mine, that thou might learn wisdom. We possess a power so great that the mind cannot fathom it. Indeed, a power so great that here we are as gods. And yet, how that power is used, be it for good or ill, rests in thy hands, little one. For this world is thine, not ours. But now, thou needeth knowledge that thou might understand the events that are to occur. Thy paths have crossed with Ryu's. Thou art as thou art as much a part of this now as he is. And he just falls. That wasn't very wasn't very Oh goodness I lied, I'm sorry, Mr. Pyongrong. Yeah, that was uh That was a god. Cool. Paths, huh? Yes, well for now. We should go to that village that Pyongrong told us about. Okay. Let's go. This is actually... If I recall... Do we, do we just go out or do we have a little mini dungeon first? No, I think we just go out.
So, we will go to the Ice Peak, which is a little adventure fieldy thing next time. But first off, I can't not, guys. This was after a big, big dungeon area. Let's go check out our fairy village. Why not? Now, like I said, it is based on battles. I think it's for every ten battles, there's one event, be it a birth, a death, whatever. There's messages on the board. So if we see here, there's two. Uh, simple graffiti from Koopy. I'm tired of all this work. Well, it's, it's, oh, that's not even really, really, guys. You're just you're just doing that, and I am out here working my butt off, and you are just. Oh, hey, wait, wait. When when did this one appear? Oh, oh, we must have missed a birth. So you can go and grab food, cause they they need it. And uh, yeah, what what do we have? We have four out of ten fairies so far. 20 out of 100 food, and they're they're pretty pretty dumb, actually. So, uh, yeah. Get food now. You want to get at least 100 food, and then just build up a population, and after that, then you can start working on the other stuff, such as buildings and f uh, other interesting stuff. I think we're north of Windia, in a place we call the Highlands. There's a lot of tall mountains there. This could be one of them. Okay, whoops, I didn't mean to go in there. Let me go out and talk to my bros. My broskies, my brosidens, my, uh, I don't know any others. Okay, I know you're a little different. and You've got the dragon's eye and all, but I'm not sure if I can think of you as a god. Apparently, the wind dragon and even the mud dragon once had forms similar to humans. I wonder which is closer to their true form. Ah, huh, interesting. That's a thought that's never even brought up in the game. My p -p path has become t t tangled up. Oh, yes. Brood. Skius brood. But until then, I guess I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 4. Ciao.